the gospel text of today makes two points. The first is that Jesus has just taught his disciples his way of life. He has told them that his way of life is a life of service, of giving. His way of life is not a life of domination, but of emptying of the self. The disciples have listened to him only with their external ears, but it has not percolated down to their hearts. And that is why, because Jesus speaks about a kingdom, because Jesus speaks about kingship, they misunderstand him and then discuss among themselves who is to be the greatest, who is to be the first, who is to be the leader and the master. Jesus is aware of this discussion, calls them to him, and along with them calls a child and places the child in front of the disciples in the hope that they will learn a lesson from the child. And what is the lesson Jesus wants them to learn? The child is innocent, surely. The child is spontaneous, surely. But more importantly, and this is the lesson the disciples must learn, is that the child is dependent. The child is dependent on its parents and by Placing the child in front of them, Jesus is asking his disciples to be as dependent and to acknowledge this dependence on God. This acknowledgement of dependence means that I do not regard myself as independent. The acknowledging of dependence on God means that I realize that God is above me. The acknowledgement of dependence on God means that I realize my place in the world and I become humble. Acknowledgement of dependence makes a person humble because a person is not independent but interdependent. Interdependent on others and dependent fully on God. In the second part of the gospel text of today, the disciples want to be exclusive. The disciples want to be parochial. The disciples want to be narrow-minded in who can belong to their group and who cannot belong to their group. And so, when they see a man following Jesus but not as a disciple and doing exactly what Jesus did in exorcising a demon, they get upset. Because that is the prerogative only of Jesus, only of the disciples. So how can someone who does not claim to be a disciple also do the same and they complain to Jesus? He is casting out demons in your name. We want to stop him. And Jesus says, no. You cannot be exclusive. You cannot be stereotypical. You cannot be narrow-minded. You cannot pigeonhole me and my mission in this small manner. My mission is broad. My mission is for everyone. My mission is an inclusive mission. And he ends by saying, if anyone who is not against you, that person is for you. This shows the broad-mindedness of Jesus, that anyone who is not against is for. Today we live in a multi-religious country. We cannot afford to be parochial, we cannot afford to be narrow-minded, we cannot pigeonhole God and make him a God who is small and restricted to any particular religion. God belongs to the whole of humanity, to no religion and to every religion. And so therefore, we are called today to two gifts which we pray to from the Lord. The first is the gift of acknowledging our dependence on God, which will lead to humility. And the second, the gift of opening my mind, of opening my heart, of being inclusive and of accepting others as being loved also by God.